Okay, hello friends. Uh, this is uh, my first time ever attempting a recording. So uh, hopefully it uh, goes well and uh, maybe you learn a little bit if you don't. Um, there, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'll do the best that I can for you. Alright, so here we are in the Super Adventure Box um, in uh, World 1, Zone 2. Uh, I thought I'd start here just because um, I'll show you a couple of dig spots and how I run and get them. Um, but my main part of this video is to kind of show how to jump on the uh, on the mushroom caps. Um, some people seem to have some problems with it. Uh, I've never really had an issue other than um, having my own type of issues. So um, I'm going to try to show you and hopefully you guys kind of figure out uh, what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and start this up. So if you get on a mushroom cap and you don't move, you're basically going to just keep jumping. Keep bouncing, I should say. Keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. You can move in the air after and then you'll move over. If you're uncentered, you just move just slightly and then let yourself go. Move slightly and you can center. Center. I also adjust times. Now, if you want to move forward, you just run when you hit the bottom and you boom. You move over. See? That was kind of a crappy one. But let's see if we can do this better here. That's what I like. See, what I do is I'll try to hit the cap. It's a little difficult trying to talk and play at the same time here, but this is my first time doing this again, so <laughs> do the best I can. So, anyway, just before I get to the bottom or hit the hit the hit the the top of the cap, um, I move. I move. So then it looks like I'm kind of running off the cap just before I bounce up again. So let's see if I show you guys that. I'm always looking down too. If I'm looking forward like this, I can't really judge you know exactly where I'm hitting. That's me. Other people can. Um, I s can do it sometimes, but I generally like to do it like this. So anyway, here we go. Now I did it fast there. Um, but yeah, see, if you, as long as you're moving just before you hit the bottom, you'll do a little run, and then that way you won't come off the cap. See, now I adjusted myself, centered, and now I can just stay here all day if I needed to. And I'll run, boom, adjust, ever so slightly, center, and run off. Boom, done. And I adjusted myself in midair there, just because I was looked like it was going to go too far. And then boom, done, adjusted. I've, I honestly don't um, don't have really any of the glitches um, that I've seen other people have, but okay. So let's uh, continue here and just kind of show the kind of dig spot run I uh, I do. Get the forty there. I generally don't hit any enemies unless um. Um, got some missing pieces of hearts or whatnot, just to get some health back. Cause I usually like I know I got um, only three full hearts there, but I'm not really too worried about it at the moment. Get that one. Sometimes I don't, but uh, so anyway, I run up here first. Some people like to do log, but I just think this is more efficient. Usually, just right before the top of the hill, there always pops. The, the baubles. And then jump into the log here. Pop these guys up. So hopefully I'm doing a good job for you guys. I know I kind of stuttered there at start, but uh, again, it's my first time and I thought, I said, hey, I love this uh, Super Adventure box. i uh, give it a try recording since uh, I enjoy running it like all the time. Yeah, see, popped a bunny because I kind of went too far. Usually on this top ledge is where I hit the dig spot. Oh, did I get them? Oh, and they popped too. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Those dang mon monkeys. Alright, and then this one here in the water. Now, if I'm doing a speed run. 
that's where I would, uh, like, a, just, like, running for the chest or whatever, I'd, I'd definitely, um, take the worm, you know, but, um, when I'm, um, trying to collect, uh, 500 baubles, um, I usually will go up this way. Um, there's other dig spots in zone 3 that I hit, but so I try to go through here, collect the stuff, and then I don't need to, um, hit as many of the dig spots in uh, zone 3. Sometimes I'll kill, hit a monkey or whatever just in case, maybe pop a uh, key and get to a chest easy. It all depends. Some monkeys are in the way. And I just get rid of them so they don't uh, knock me off because sometimes that can get really annoying. Oh, see? Here goes a key. So I say, well, I know where the chest is. So you know what? I'm just going to say, heck, it's an easy bunch of bubbles, so I'm just going to pop them. Now, this is not necessarily a fast way to do it, but um, I'm not necessarily trying to run the fastest because... Um, I like to enjoy the uh, the game of it. I like doing the jumps, you know. And I'm definitely using my mouse to turn. I'm also holding on to the right uh, mouse button while I'm doing this. Sometimes I will click the left mouse button to to move myself. But uh, generally, I'm just using the W W A S D and moving with. Uh, W key. Moving forward, I should say. Now, if the quality of video is uh, uh, not that great, I apologize. Again, I'm just kind of new to this, so I'm just... This is kind of my introductory video. I wanted to do a test, or uh, try test run, but then I was like, uh, let's just, let's just wing it, you know? Why not? Can't hurt. So I know I haven't done too much digging, um, and that's where I, you know, I gotta get to this spot here. And then everything just starts, you know, coming off. Um, I do recommend, just in case, sometimes, just hit the shortcut caps and then uh, in case you fall or mess up you can always get back now this one some people miss They're just right here boom oh maybe just right here I think for the spot there we go now if, uh, if, if you're watching this and you not you haven't really played through these zones right here is where you get the free candle now, see, I've already gotten it already, but uh, just so you know, little tip. Okay. Nice high one. Now, there is a bunch of food. Now, see, I'm low on two hearts, so I'll just hop across here. Boom. Fill up on food. Hop back. Uh, I usually like to say hammer down on the space bar when doing that. Um, generally, you'll be able to get through that... The, green water uh, really easy or poison water however you'd like to say it I used to take the worm all the time but now that I'm kind of more or less digging for bobbles just for the fun of it I uh, use do this and it gets me more more bobbles which is always good then we jump up on here and hit the yeah there we go and then I think it's right about here dig here pop souls guys and then amazingly enough there's just a couple more right here boom and I just realized I had 500 bubbles <laughs> that's pretty funny um, oh well this is just for fun but uh, yeah I was supposed to uh, trade those up but you know what? Who cares? Um, I'm just having fun. I got uh, I got enough stuff for all my skins that I want and everything else. So I'm pretty much doing anything extra for collecting for next stuff that comes out. 
I guess I shouldn't collect them. But uh, anyway, so that's those. Now let's uh, kill the boss. And I do it the... Now I never did this at the beginning when I found this out, but I've beaten the boss so many times that I kind of take it easy on myself here. Sometimes I uh, I don't get the right spot and uh, he ends up smoking me. Put an auto attack here and then uh, just let her fly. There we go. If they patch this, I'm okay with that. I've done it legit. No problem. This It wouldn't hurt me any if they um, patched it to fix this um, possible issue. Um, if not, oh well, then I'm, I'll just, I'll use it freely. Um, I kind of hope that they update maybe the cage boss a little bit and make it more interesting. Um, again, they only had so much time to work on it, so, um, and I'll give a shout out and say thanks for uh, making such a cool thing. Got me back into Guild Wars 2 when I thought uh, I wouldn't come back for a while. Whew. Collect these guys. Now, sometimes if you take the if you take the shortcut worm, what I like to do is I'll beat this guy, grab those, and then I'll run back in the time. You know, use the time instead of um, doing it earlier. That way, I use the the um, time to takes the warp. I'll come over here and I'll dig this spot here and get the bubbles here. And then sometimes you'll miss if you don't quite hit the right spot. It's about right here you want to stand, and you'll get it every time. And uh, and yeah, so now just waiting to warp to uh, zone three because I want to show you guys that uh, nice tree trunk with the bumpers or caps, jumper caps, bumper caps. Me, my favorite level. I like to do this. Sometimes I miss, sometimes I don't. Or most of the time I don't. I just aim for that little part there and I'll usually get on top or right on there. So easy jumping. Now there are a couple of dig spots or uh, quite a bit of dig spots around here. Well, three actually or something like that. But uh, I won't show you guys that. Uh, that's I'm, I'm full on bobbles. So, oh, well, I don't usually have a problem with this. <laughs> oh, well, just have fun. Kill some frogs. There we go. Do this, da da da. Yeah. There you go. Like to take this route as a speed route. Now, I recommend if it's your kind of your first time playthrough, try not to take the warp. Get that free candle so you can. Uh, oh, doing something wrong here. So you can burn these suckers. It makes this a lot easier. And usually I don't have that problem with that monkey. Let's get him, because I'm down to one heart, so let's see if I can uh, get into a position where I can get some food to heal me up before I croak <laughs> by maybe this frog. Oh, can you give me some food? No, nope, no food, just a bobble. Darn it. See, I like that. When I'm looking for food, I get bobbles. When I'm looking for bobbles, I get food. I just skip that monkey. Now, in a normal kind of speed run, I would just go down this ramp here and go through the bottom. But if I'm collecting baubles and I'm kind of, and I haven't um, quite got what I wanted, and I need a little bit extra, I uh, go this route. Oh. And uh, of course, shortcut mushroom cap just in case I want to come back up because sometimes you miss I'm going to where there's leaves that fall so um, if I go down I don't want to have to run all the way back up to that ramp and then go I'll do this all over again so I hit that and boom I've seen a couple videos where I've seen the guy seen somebody like um, go back to the ramp like four times when all they did was have to just do a short little hit that uh, cap and they would have wouldn't have had to run so often 
Oh, uh, sometimes I can make that run. Um, I'm trying to do three things at once here. And, oh, just made it. Sweet. Oh, well, that coconut almost got me. Okay, and I come up here. Boom. Now, the reason I try to get all my dig spots done um, prior to that is because the dig spots here, or the one anyway that's over here, can sometimes be tricky to jump to. I've had really good luck with it, and sometimes, like the one night, I've tried it like six times before I could get to it. Um, I'll kind of show you guys where that one is. And then we'll be able to get to the kind of the main part of the video I want to show you guys for that um, tree with all the bumpers in it. Oh, and look at that. I found a key. See? Look at that. found a key. So normally, I, if I ha needed the baubles, I would grab that key. Well, since I don't need it, I'm not going to bother with it. No big deal. Oh, and by the way, uh, this character here is brand new. Um, I'm going to be making him my main. Um, I haven't had any characters really high level. But anyway, jump in here. There's a dig spot right here. And uh, sometimes this can be tricky to uh, get properly. Um, I haven't had a lot of practice with it. Because usually I, try, I get what I need before I even have to worry about it. So anyway, I'm going to go... Uh, oh, you know what? I just realized... Another reason why I like having that op this option available up here, getting that and then getting that shortcut bumper that's right there. I don't know, did I knock that down? I can't remember. Anyway, because there's food down. These are all filled with cherries. So if you get low on health and you have this available, boom! Like now I'm full. I can. I don't have to worry about dying. And I'm making stupid jumps here. Okay, go. Now let's see. Did I? Now just see. Oh yeah, I did hit that bump. That, uh, even though I don't, I'm not really worried about it. Okay, so anyway, let's go from here. Like some normal people would probably get to kill this guy. Why not? He might be in the way. Now this can be an interesting thing to get on this one. Oh, okay, let's get this monkey. Stop for a sec. Okay. Now this can. Ooh, food. Anyway, this could be interesting. Um, trick here is to try to hit the alligator as you come down and if you, once you do that you um, once you hit jump up fast enough you won't get uh, targeted by it. Sometimes actually now that I think about it if you're on that one you can usually reach the hit um, distance or whatever for that uh, crocodile alligator whatever you what have you. Okay starting to get to the fun bit. Now, this jump, I don't know why. Sometimes I have really big issues. Oh, see, I didn't have any issues with that this time. Okay, so here we go. If, you know, just take your time. See, I adjust here. I just took my time, made sure. Now, some people go... To, uh, now, there should be... Boom, run, and... Now, that has a wall against it, so... I was able to just, you know, kind of just run towards the wall. No big deal. Run over, and... Yeah, as soon, soon as I know I'm going to make the distance, I let go of the movement button so I don't, like, run off or do something I shouldn't. And then run over, and boom, done. See? If you stop in the air, usually you will end up exactly where you stopped. Okay, and then I'm going to run over and get her. Move over a bit. Now, you can usually reach this one, but if you're cut bobble collecting, you want to go you want to go over to that one right there. So we're going to go... And go over and good, you know, done, easy. Um, oh, I shouldn't say easy. It took me a couple tries to get this down pat, but once you figure it out, it's easy, breezy. Now you can go over here, but let me show you guys how to do this from this bumper here. Okay, and then over we go, and there we go, got that one. Bounce a couple times, and then over we go, this one, and we got her. Adjust. And then uh, I'm just going to jump straight across over to that one. Woohoo! Boom, and then over. Done. See, guys? It's not so uh, hard. Uh, you got to kind of take control of your mouse. Um, you know, take control of that mouse and don't let, uh, don't let, and just take your time. And I will just go show you where the, uh... oh gosh, I even forget what it's called now. 
Um, the breath. Moda's breath or something like that. I just can't remember what it's called. Um, where is it here? Is it in here somewhere? Oh, yeah, I don't have it for this character, right? Oh! Well, there we go. I get to unlock this character. <laughs> and I didn't even think about that. Moto's Breath, yep. Yeah. Boom. Let's show you guys what that looks like. Oh, wrong button. I use the Razor Naga, so. Yay! Moto's Breath, and. It's kind of neat. Haven't really used it. Um, haven't figured I needed it, so I, it's not, it wasn't something I worried about. Now let's go kill a frog. Let's, uh, let's add to this video here. Well, I don't know why I did that. Closer. Here we go. And uh, some people have, and then and, you know, I'm gonna. I guess uh, I should have said uh, my part was my main thing was for this video was for tips on that that bumper and tips for this frog, and also to show. Um, I don't know if it's a bug or it's just it's just something odd because you can. Uh, I'll show you guys here that if you um, throw the gem too early when you're close, it might go in his mouth, but it won't register. So let's see if we can get that to show here. It's drove me nuts a couple times. Okay, here is how you avoid the tongue. Easy, easy, easy. No problem. Tongue's voided. Boom. Done. I hope. Now he's going to do that, so i got to get out of the way. Gem doesn't... You can't hit the gem there. Run back. Now smack the gem a bit. Get that, or yeah, get the pop shard, jewel shard, I should say, not gem. Hit this again. I like to, I like to. Oh, I won't be able to show you guys here. Oh, now it, it automatically. Um, people say I have a problem with targeting too. If you're, if you got the jewel, you almost automatically um, target the frog, like r when you're looking at him, and you press the the one key or one or whatever you got set. It'll auto target. So I don't usually have a problem. Sometimes I can smack a couple of these jewels out and have it all set up for me so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, look at that. He's just just making it fast. Oh, come on. Pick it up. Okay. Well, maybe I'll show you. Oh, I'm going to hit the tongue. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. I kind of want to show you guys uh, this uh, little part where you can't get him to... It won't count. The jewel won't count. See if I can do this here. See, it target it targets. You can't target it right now. I can target the jewel if I'm pointing at the jewel. Just by clicking on, you know, I'm targeting it. No big deal. See if I. Okay, I think I threw it. Uh, let's see if it worked. Oh, it did work that time. Yeah. If basically, if you throw it, bef like as he's uh, doing the first head turn, it doesn't register. I wish I could show you guys this. Maybe I can show you guys this. Try this in this turn here. I'd really like to show it because I literally did it like six times at one time. It was just bad timing, I guess. I don't know. I'll explain it. I was like, what? Drove me nuts. And now I'm trying to do it and I can't do it. Save my life. Okay, let's see if that worked. Yeah, see? See? So that uh, sometimes it just, if you do it too early, try to then, you know, it's not going to work. Now, if you do that from the distance, though, like, say, right here, you see his head turn and you throw it early like this, it will register. And you get lots of time to get over. See? Boom. Done. And, uh... He's done. Let's do a little dance here. Well, guys, um, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, I hope this uh, first time video uh, comes out really well. And, uh, and if uh, people like it, or, and uh, maybe I'll do more for other things. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll just uh, loot this chest here. Get my baubles. And... Uh, Maybe see you guys on the next video. Thank you very much.